objects or design details like switches and sockets have to be long-lasting design. They have to be um, acceptable for the next yeah, decades. I'm Werner Eislinger. I'm a um, designer. I would say originally product designer, nowadays designing like everything. We are in the center of Berlin, not right away in the center, but very close to the center. It's a typical kind of Berlin um, creative hub. To be in Berlin is on the one hand for me it was a personal evolution because I was studying here at the art school. I studied industrial design and then I kept staying in the city. But on the other hand, Berlin was always this very creative, very chaotic place. And when you look around Europe, you hardly find a place with this kind of level of creativity. My inspiration mostly comes from, I would say, daily life in Berlin because Berlin is a wild and uh, unconventional and very vibrating city. So Berlin is a place that's always good for inspiration. I think good design in my case is always bohemian. It's never conventional. Design needs looking forward, needs to be exciting, needs to be playful, but also poetic. And form follows function, what was also always the dogma in the last maybe 50 or 100 years. I think it's, it's still worth, but it's fading. And design is more nowadays, it's storytelling and it's, yeah, it's bohemian and it always needs to be pushy and thinking forward. So the Hobo people brought us into the project to create a certain lifestyle. This type of Berlin lifestyle in Stockholm, because you know Stockholm is more uh, elegant, more conservative city compared to Berlin. We brought in a, a very big urban farming project. We work with some local artists also in, inside the project and media artists. There's a stage and there's music bands showing up and DJs. So I think the hotel was created to be connected to the city. When you mix up the city with the guests, I think that's the ultimate atmosphere you can create. And then you need to think about an interior architecture that is open and open-minded and still wild. We call it collage style. That's kind of our goal, to create a new world that is in a way unique and also has to do with the location. A hotel room nowadays is psychologically a coming home place. So I think you should open the door and you should feel like you're familiar with the space, with the interior, but also with all the technical functions. And uh, I personally hate uh, hotel rooms that are so complicated, using switches, using taps, using the shower, that you are kind of confronted with a, a high-tech world that you are not understanding from a, from a first second. And you are kind of getting kind of angry because you want to just use things like in your home and you, you, have, you, you, you feel like you have to to read a manual before you start using the hotel room. And I think that's the worst that can happen. Showing that functions are simple to understand, um, that's the goal and I think that's what people love. Think of a chair or a lamp you can easily kind of redesign after some years, you can change it, you can change other decorative items like uh, cushions or like curtains, but to change the electrical insulation for example, it's much more difficult and it's connected to the, to the, the function of a building, so you have to be sure when you select products that you are selecting the right ones that, that are aesthetically and also technically lasting for 20-30 years. We mostly use our own products, so we use our backer switches, we use our door handles, we use our lighting and we use our furniture. It's kind of an idea to give a uniqueness to a place by using our own products.
The R Classic project was an idea to create a new archetype, but also to um, be in line with the, um, the 20s or 30s, like the first switches where Berker comes from. So it was the idea to connect history of Berker together with a new archetype. And I think it matched. I, I, all people I, I know who use them, they love them, because they are, in the end, they are quite simple and very um, minimalistic. As you see, it, it's very elementary, and um, elementary means being close to archetypes. And to explain archetypes, archetypes are things that people, even if they see them for the first time in their life, they feel like they know them already. So an archetype is always the ultimate design because it makes people believe or users believe this object has been there already for centuries or for decades. A good design is, let's say, always a symbiosis of material, function, design, qualities. When everything comes together, you end up at a good product. But in this case, with switches, it's the challenge is that it's a very long-lasting world. It's nothing for a season or for one or two years. It's not a lifestyle product. It's something that is connected to a building and a building lasts forever. So you have to design and create an, an quality and also a design quality that is, has this feeling of being good forever. Mm -hmm.